Amtrak's Southwest Chief runs between Chicago and Los Angeles and continues the tradition of passenger service started on this route by the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe. Today, February 16, 2000, we've been invited aboard the Chief and Amtrak's General Electric built P-42 locomotive number 83 on its run from Los Angeles to Chicago. This tape will cover the segment from Kansas City to Carrollton, Missouri. Your engineers today are Dave Stevenson and Denise Degeter. You will see this railroad in its entirety, except for a few occasions where tape changes interrupted the taping. We are departing the Amtrak station in Kansas City, which is adjacent to the old Union Station, which is a museum. We will be passing through these trenches for the next few minutes, which makes it a little hard to see. Our train is currently running over trackage owned by the Kansas City Terminal Railway.
sides. When we get up here at Sheffield, you'll see something you hadn't seen. That's the new flyover. Okay, they were building it last time. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've just about got it done. And that's that 4195 gone now. Up on 36 so bad. That's going to be pretty nice. Just go right over the Kansas City Southern UP. So you don't have an interlocking there anymore. Well, they're, I think they're going to leave the tracks going down under. Because, uh -huh. yeah. you know, UP comes over this way, too. They, they'll make their connection there at uh, Rock Creek. Sears warehouse, you know, they, was it gone when you come by here? They blew yeah. it up. They blew it up. This is now the new postal sorting center. Number four conductor bridge 18 approach over. I was on that middle bridge, bridge. bridge 18 approach. Uh, I was on that middle track coming down here one day. I went by a yellow signal. These signals down here wouldn't cut in. There was nothing on them. I come around here and I see that already. Oh man, it just scared me too. Oh, 
rider. Yeah, start calling the dispatcher. <laughs> over to the U-man on the well, uh, kick. What well, happened was they had black plastic bags over the things, and they'd blown off. Oh. And they were down there testing. Yeah, are you going to head over for that uh, four well, I saw this five, help him get his out of Did I miss something? <laughs> what happened? Roger. Now, it looks like they're going to cut a switch in, because it's setting up there. It looks like they're probably dragging out there and coming in. That starts the bridge from the concrete you see down there. We are approaching Sheffield Junction. A major line relocation, since completed, was underway when we passed by. Formerly, this busy junction with the Kansas City Terminal and the former Missouri Pacific, Santa Fe, Frisco, and Kansas City Southern was protected by a tower and the crossing was at ground level. When completed, Burlington Northern Santa Fe tracks will pass over the junction on the new bridge. For now, BNSF tracks will continue on to the right, while Union Pacific's former Missouri Pacific diverges off to the left. Break your gong, though. I would be surprised they don't have it done this year. Was it $42 million? Let's go to 30, over. Head in Amtrak Ford Conductor for Come in, over. Yeah, go ahead. 30. we go. Uh, 
BNSF yeah. We're on BNSF now. Come around this curve, you'll see a real nice steel bridge. They're okay. gonna take it down. It's a shame, but it's you know it's backed a lot. Tough changes. That's right. See they're starting to lay rail up here. <clears throat> Still think about 1700 feet. We have left the Kansas City terminal behind and are on the Marceline subdivision of the Burlington Northern and Santa Fe Railway. This line was opened for through service between Kansas City and Chicago in 1888 and was the former Santa Fe Railway's main line from Chicago to the west. Our speed limit will be 79 miles per hour, but we won't see that for a long while as there is a double stack freight train running in front of us. The track is mostly level, but we will be descending slightly between here and milepost 428. We are governed by centralized traffic control with signals and switches controlled by the dispatcher. The tracks coming in from the right connect with the Union Pacific's river sub at Rock Creek Junction. The UP uses the BNSF between here and Eaton a few miles in front of us. In addition, the BNSF has trackage rights on the UP between Sheffield and here, which they do use. Let's find out what happens now. 
Sugar Creek. Had, at one time they had a huge refinery down here. And it's gone now, everything's gone. All they got down here is this uh, asphalt plant. They, they ship asphalt in here and do all the streets with it. signals, this one and another one, then it will be at Eton. That, what that's telling us, the next signal's uh, probably an approach, and the signal after that, which is Eton, would be red. Either the dispatcher ain't got us lined up or he's got a train going through the plant. There it goes. Another bag. And then fires back. Sure enough, is that on that 50, unit 56? Roger, that's that unit 56. We got one more. When Bell's just went off, we'll probably do it one more time and we'll stay down. Okay. If not, we'll stop and isolate it. All right.
been a couple of flocks around in here. Hands. They're all in my house. Are they? Each other's buffet is on. That's it. It's all you can eat. That's a bad one, isn't it? Okay, 25. You must just be following that people. Yeah. Whatever. Following somebody. This is where the UP's river sub takes off. Okay, so they run from tractor drives over here? Right. Dallas, he's, he's 
waffling between either Bob and me or Bob and Dave Grimaldi. If he takes Grimaldi out, uh, that means that uh, Dave will probably take a center town job, which most likely will be Steve Paul. And I'll put Steve Paul going out to God City. BNFM detector, milepost 426.3, no defects, repeat, no defects, out. send MR up here. He knows all these rivers and creeks and gullets. He knows the names of them all.
This is the uh, TPNW train. Oh, okay. They had all that, those, uh, what was it, Jeep 20s? They had them all painted up. New York Central livery. Right. So Man, when they took over, boom! They were they, gone. They were gone and they got these uh, red and blue things. H something. Oh, H G T. Yeah. H, H, H P G T X. Yeah, H -G -T -X. Something, something like that. Those yeah, they're lease. Yeah. That was the guy we heard going across the bridge. <coughs> that other dude should be in the front of us pretty much. Yeah, he's down there. He ought to be going now. about all about Santa Fe, how they used to come in here and all this, we're talking away. And what I didn't know, Bob, I, I saw him put his foot up here on, the, on that, and he's pushing that button. He didn't know he was doing it either. And it <laughs> broadcasted it all over the world. So everyone got a history lesson. Yeah, as soon as he got his foot off there, the conductor come on and says, thanks Dave for that history lesson. <laughs> ENFF detector, milepost four, three, two, point zero. Main one, no defect. Repeat, no defect. Total axles, one, two, eight. Out. That was the guy we just met. So we're nearly as long as he is. Yeah, just about. Yeah. But we're supposed to be hotter. Yeah. <laughs> detector, mile post four, two, six. Point three. No defects. Repeat. Okay. No defects. Out. So we'll probably follow him across the bridge until we get to the three tracks. Yeah. yeah. See the junction up there. What he talked about. How far till? Oh, this is about uh, two miles right now. Close this road off. They can't go down it anymore. No, they can't. They can't drive down it. Santa Fe's got a gate up there. The county did it. I guess county and state did it up there. They're getting too many vandals down here. Oh, yeah. And uh, I come down here one night, and there's a fire department down there, highway patrol, and police, and there's a car down there on fire. And they, what they'd done, somebody pushed it off down in there, and they torched it. Stolen. At milepost 428, we begin climbing a half percent eastbound grade towards the Missouri River Bridge at Sibley. This is the second bridge here. The first bridge was completed in 1888, while the current structure was opened in 1914. on number four. Yes, we'll be going west from East Sibley. Okay, we'll be down East Holland for the mining thing. Okay. Number four is between East Holland and West Sibley right now. I think. Okay. Detector, mile post, four, two, five, point, two, no defects, repeat, no defects, out. Now that's the east end of Sibley Bridge. 
That guy just went by the east end of it. Okay. Stagner is. Yeah, the Santa Fe yeah. yeah. Well, he's a, uh, he's not a modeler, but he's written a lot of articles. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, he, he's a friend of mine. Lives there in Newton. Okay. I know him pretty well. Known him for years. Known, I knew him when I worked for Santa Fe, in fact. But uh, we looked up this bridge one time, this Sibley Bridge, because, you know, this is not the original bridge. Right. And so I was just curious what was here before it. And it was a bridge almost identical to this, but it was lighter in weight, and it's set on the west side. Okay. Same height, so they used the same approach here that we're going up now. But when you get up here to the bridge, you'll see off on the left side, there's just a big wide area like something was there. Well, that was where their other track was. Okay. And this, at one time, was a gauntlet bridge. Oh, okay. So you had two, two mains. Right. No switches. It just came together and went across. Right. Of course, this was what was called current of traffic. Before all the, the CTC and all that, it was current of traffic. Your uh, south track, which was on, was always eastbound. The north track was always westbound. So you really didn't have, you know, each, each track was always independent anyway. Right. Much. You just had to protect the bridge. Right. They had signals protecting the bridge. You can see the bridge on that way. like this bridge was built in 1910. I can't remember for sure. Is that turned off, that heater? Oh, I just turned this full heater on. So oh, you hot and cold? Well, my toes were getting cold. Oh. It, it'll make it hot. I'm hot and set in the sun here. No, well. If you don't set in the sun, you're not hot. You're, you'll probably get cold. Well, I don't set in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just run backwards. That's right. This will just blow down here. Just hang my toes over. Don't let it. Now it might not be turned on. Is that yeah, circuit breaking? Right. Okay. BNSF detector milepost four two six point three. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Out. Take a while. Got the spirit. Four coming across the bridge. Rail detector crew. 
That's why. That's why he's sitting here. Broken rails. CA Junction, our speed limit is 90 miles per hour, but alas, attaining that goal will only be a dream. Then we're just down to the gate. <laughs> Get everything else. All I got is a uh, horror. 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 Let's go fast. Marshall Inspector. Yes, Marl, Track Inspector Rexman, east to East Sibley on Main 2. I'd like to go west, testing the bridge. Over. Come off of West Sibley on Main 1. Four well, Rexman, Track Time 40, 16,449. 16449. Granted on Main Track. Main westbound control signal, East Sibley, switch yes, and crossover, West Sibley, switch no. Main 2, TWO, main westbound control signal, West Sibley, switch yes, and eastbound control signal, West Sibley, switch yes. Main 1, O-N-E. Between westbound control signal, West Sibley, switch yes, and eastbound control signal, Ain't West Sibley, Got an approach. switch yes. 1,449, it's 16449, tracking time on main, M-A-I-N, main track, westbound control signal, east P-A-S-E, Sibley, switch yes, two crossover west, V-S-2, West Sibley, switch no. Main 2, T-W-O, between westbound control signal, west, to B-S-T, west Sibley, switch yes. Eastbound control signal at west, to B-S-T, west Sibley, switch yes. Main 1, O-N-E, between westbound control signal, west, 
This is CA Junction, where the Norfolk Southern's old Wabash line between Detroit and Kansas City joins the old Santa Fe line that we are on. Between here and WB Junction, this will be joint trackage. Between here and Hardin, there will be three main tracks, the left two being BNSF and the right one being Norfolk Southern. Past Hardin, each railroad will have one track. The maximum speed here is 79 miles per hour. Starts right down here at CA. Something kind of interesting about this is that they don't have, they don't know when this all began. They don't know when this joint tracking began. Really? Yeah. Apparently, uh, it was back. BNSF Marshall and Dispatcher. Santa Fe had a fire. Uh, here in the uh, We're going to bomb the warehouse. Destroy all the wells in the plant here in Eton. Yeah, Eat the tracks. Uh, we have some more really sectors out there. It's possible to get Eton on either track. Our plus here in the plant is Eton. But they don't know when it originated. Not while we got that day. Rail detector out there. So we're going to go over to the center. We'll be in the center. We'll wait until he gets by. From here to uh, Hard, there's two tracks here in the middle, and the north track are current of traffic. Of course, it's no longer uh, mi middle, north, and south. It's one, two, and three. Right, okay. We're, we're going on two. We just came off one. Roger.
by Norbar and you look at your watch, I'll tell you exactly how, how late we are. Now, Merle's a good dispatcher, ain't no doubt about it. Sometimes he's handed a can of worms that he's got to try to unwind. Pretty high priority. I mean, I, I want a good rail out here under me, too. Clear. Clear. Do you ever get down on the NS track? Or do you oh, yeah. 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 Uh, there was a guy up here one time. He was uh, over at Hart on, on the number one main, and he was broke down. He couldn't pull his train. He was dead. And he already had two trains behind him. Now he had his choice, he either run us on, on this track, which is 49 mile an hour against the current of traffic, and he's got to do a lot of paperwork to allow him to do it, and then he has to stop all his trains going this way, or he runs us down there, which is 50 mile an hour. Well, <laughs> so just, I mean, no difference. Just run us on the NS, and just run 50. Now we're hard, and it goes from 50 to 60.
getting those drafts. We are passing through Hardin, where the three main tracks go down to two. Also, since CA Junction, the BNSF tracks have been operated by direction of traffic and automatic block signals, while the NS track retains its CTC. Now CTC resumes for the BNSF track, and the trains go either way, on either track, at the dispatcher's discretion. Crossovers are 30, that's the reason why we're going through it at 30.
just talk to that guy at Bosworth. He's not going to let him out to fix it. Yeah. That's good. Well, I'll put us by there. Out of Kansas City, then they moved it up to uh, Schwamberg, there in Illinois. Now it's in Fort Worth. What I understand, they're getting ready to split it up again and bring it back to Kansas City. They're going to split it all up. So they're supposed to have uh, one out west somewhere, I think in San Bernardino, the Kansas City and Fort Worth. He said he's supposed to take everything like Oklahoma, North, and uh, Fort Worth is supposed to take Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona. And uh, I guess San Bernardino is supposed to take California and everything up Northwest. At least that's what I was told. I haven't done it yet. I mean, it would be a smart move on their part, and that way they don't have everything all concentrated like that. Of course, this Canadian National thing might put a crimp in all that, too. They might... Yes, 
getting old, you know, those things are cut up. Probably the 20s, 30s. Here you're looking at a product that's 70 years old. I mean, Well, I'm sure if they went to, was it Western Signal or somebody else? Like that, that. Told they wanted to buy that. They saying they're probably going to go in production real quick. Clear signal. Just like right here, you know, if we had semaphores instead of signals. We just saw that signal, what it was, way back there instead of being right on top of it. things that, 
It's just a bunch of rumors right now. Clear. This WB will lose the NS, the old wall match here. Then we'll go 90. separate from the pasture train from Chicago to DeSoto and double them back together in DeSoto. You can still do everything you want to do and you wouldn't have to move anybody. He didn't like that idea. It's going to cost too much money. I'm trying to save you some headaches, but we're going to run this thing with five or six engines. We're going to try to get it over the mountain. That, that bugs me to death right there. Imagine trying to operate this train with six locomotives. We're going to gut one of those cars like a fish, is what we're going to do. Somebody is. I just hope it ain't me. I got a feeling I know who it's going to be. This was MR. This is WB Junction, the WB being short for Wabash. Here, the Norfolk Southern continues on its way, and the BNSF goes back to two main tracks. The speed limit raises to 90 miles per hour. when we had the flood, remember that? Right. This was all underwater through here. Wow. All the way from uh, CA down here to WB. We are arriving in Carrollton, and this edition of Cab Ride from Kansas City to Chicago is at an end. To continue on from Carrollton, please insert Volume 2 of this series. <laughs>